The Iowa caucus was a debacle at best. At best. At best, it was extreme incompetence beyond belief. Record-breaking incompetence. Again, that's at best. Worst case, super nefarious. They're trying to game the results. They're doing it as we speak, and they've been doing it since the, the votes came in. That's the, that's the God's honest truth. You, there's nothing you could ever say that would make me believe that it's just totally, totally innocent that Mayor Pete's team donated over 40 grand to create the app that's used to count the frickin' votes. There's nothing you could say that would make it okay for former Clinton people to be involved in the creation of this app. There's nothing you could say that would make me believe it was just an oopsie that, oh, Dupa, there's no encryption on the app. Oh, there's no security. Oh, did we not stress test the app? There was a freaking, I think it was ProPublica article that just came out that said, oh, a hacker could easily hack this and not just hack it, change the results. Change the results. Change the results. Change the results. So, super sketchy. I told you from day one, in order for Bernie to win this race, he needs to overwin. And I meant it. Bernie's internals had him up about five points in Iowa. And it looks like he's going to win by like point some odd percent. Point one, point five, one point, whatever it might be. Ooh, so scary, scary stuff. Because there's already sketchiness, incompetence or nefariousness. That's already happening. But, but there's some good news. There's some good news. Out of this race. Bernie Sanders is now, according to everybody, the overwhelming favorite to win the nomination. So the betting markets, the betting markets, this is on predicted, they have Bernie crushing the competition, overwhelmingly likely to be the Democratic nominee. By far and away, now Bloomberg is number two. And Biden collapsed all the way to number three. Now, you could say, well, that's just the betting markets, and what the hell do they know? Eh, usually the betting markets are actually, there's quite a bit of wisdom there, but um, who's the favorite, according to 538, Nate Silver, who notoriously has an anti-Bernie Sanders bias? Bernie Sanders is the favorite, according to Nate Silver. He's at number one. And this is on the first ballot alone. First ballot. Bernie at number one with a 37% chance of winning the nomination. No one, 27%. That would be if nobody gets a majority. Um, Biden, 21%. Warren, 10%. So in other words, it's a plurality. It's the most likely thing to happen compared to all the other things is Bernie winning a majority. So winning it on the first ballot, that's according to Nate Silver. 538, they, they released um, a list of, hey, here are the states that are most likely to go this direction. Here are the states that are most likely to go that direction. You're, you're going to love this. You ready? When the results from Iowa came in, or we got you know 95% of the results in, right? You only had Joe Biden winning like... I think it was three or four states. Bernie Sanders, according to 538, is the favorite to win all of the other states. When I woke up this morning, this is going to sound fake. It's not, I promise you. Bernie Sanders had become the favorite to win every single state in the country, in the primary. Did you hear me? Did you hear me correctly there? I don't know. Maybe you want to get, you got some in your ears. You want to maybe take it out a little bit? He's the favorite, according to Nate Silver. Who doesn't like Bernie? The favorite to win every single state in this primary election. Here we come. Now, I'm going to say something and... You better not click out of the video now, because this part is even more important than what I just told you. Keep 
fighting like we're 10 points down. Keep doing it. Because the Democratic establishment is not going to lay down and just let Bernie take it. We already saw in Iowa that they don't want that to happen. Even with gaming the results, it looks like Bernie's going to edge it out. But I think they were gaming the results. Absolutely. I think you're kind of naive if you think it was just incompetence. I really do. I really do. But you have to keep fighting like we're 10 points down. Matter of fact, fuck it. 15 points down. Let's say we're... Pretend like you're 15 points down. We're 15 points down. Because we need to win this thing on the first goddamn ballot. Now, listen. Let's say we don't win it on the first ballot, but he has the most votes. He has, so, in other words, he has less than 50% support, but he has the most support of anybody in the race. In that scenario, he's going to be the nominee because we're going to make him be the nominee. We're not taking no for an answer in that case. We're not. We will literally, millions of people will march on the DNC. Millions of people. Millions of people. I will be a fucking leader with a megaphone in my hand in that situation. I will be there with all of you. We will be marching hand in hand. And we will make goddamn sure he becomes the nominee in that scenario. But we could avoid all this trouble and this entire headache if we just get him over 50%. So if you're in New Hampshire, get out there. If you're in Nevada, get out there. If you're in South Carolina, get out there. If Bernie wins Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada... South Carolina, where he's about five points down as of last week, he could win that easily. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Pretend like we're 15 points down, pedal to the middle, never give up that fighting spirit. We have to We have, play like you're an underdog. Kobe Bryant, the, the late Kobe Bryant, famously said, I played every single game like I was the 12th man on the bench. You want to know why I was so good? You want to know why I'm... Uh, you know, regarded as one of the best to ever play the game, because every single game, I play like I was the 12th person on the bench. Which means I always had something to prove. Always had something to prove. Never said, I'm Kobe Bryant. I'm Kobe Bryant. Never. You always play like you're a nobody. And you have to it play like it's your last game. You have to make an impression that day. Go! This is what we got to do for this primary. Because I, I said it, and I'm going to keep saying it. We have to overwin in order to win, and we saw that in Iowa. And now it's the same for the rest of it. So, get out there, man. Get out there. Let's do this damn thing. Let's do it. We're right there. Bernie Sanders could be the next president of the United States of America. It's all on us. Our future is in our hands. Doesn't it feel good when you know you have an impact? Well, now we could have that impact. So it's time for all hands on deck.